This is the exact opposite of the spec I would like to take in this environment, but here we are. I deserved that. I'm a wash. I'm a mess. This is what's become of me. Do you know how many Mythic Plus I've done this week? This is actually the roughest Mythic Plus I've been in. <laughs> like, you know me. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you going? I am located where I imagine many of you actually are these days because of the insane raid difficulty that we pulled with this week. We are jumping into Mythic Plus. We are all out gearing right now, my friends. We have our Legos crafted. We were hoping not to have to do that. We have had to do that. Our Hunter is currently rocking 197. All from M+, plus, pretty much. We have been M+, plusing out our minds because of the reduced loot. We knew it was coming in the raids. Um, we have done all the heroics up until Sludge Fist. We have another raid day to go. That's over two nights. Um, but Sludge Fist is a beast. <laughs> it's an absolute monster. Uh, so we are currently working on that. So I thought, you know what? Why not bring with us... I do not have Volley, which is a feels bad. I was actually going to say, let's do the Obscene Marksman DPS that I'm sure you guys have all heard about, but uh, I appear to have not brought the exact correct spec. Not that it will matter too much, as you can see here, with a nice 16k opener. Uh, we will still be kicking ass and taking some names, but uh, we're not as powerful or as strong as we could be, which is, it feels bad, but, you know, whatever. Oh, God, don't die. Uh, <laughs> please don't die. That's all I ask of the world. Please do not die. It has been a week, man. I actually want to do an entire video just going over the amount of adaptation and changes that we have had to do as a team this week. And honestly, I have to give so much credit to our man, uh, Mr. Alex, who is our raid leader. I'm just going to drop a binding shot there to help our tank out. No point in spelling in rages. Just kill. Just get killed. That is the way. That is the way. Uh, Alex, who... <sighs> Alex takes his raiding very seriously. Oh, I have... Uh... Oh, I see what I have. Mm, I have lock and load. Feels bad. Um, Alex takes things very seriously, our raid leader. It's probably hard to tell, but maybe it's not for you guys. Because mo I imagine most of you do know Alex from the Fat Boss videos, where, to be fair, they do kind of treat them very seriously. They're not overly jokey outside of the lads episodes. Where they do their raid guys, they do take it very seriously. And... So you probably do have that. But I know Alex IRL. I met Alex IRL before I ever played with him. Uh, just through, co you know, content creator stuff. And uh, he's very not serious. <laughs> IRL. Oh, God, I have a full single target spec. Ew. Ew, gross. Oh, I was simming. Yeah, I remember now. Oh, my. Oof. Oh, God, I have steady focus. Okay, well, you're kind of in for a treat because... Uh, this this is the exact opposite of the spec I would like to take in this environment, but here we are. So, never mind. I'm going to pop coolies here. Here is our new level 10. Oh, we are doing 10. Ha! Huh. I am a wash. I literally was like, hey, is anybody doing M+, plus? I need to record one for a TDP. Uh, and they were like, yeah, sure. And uh, I've just logged in and gone, okay, let's go. <laughs> so, I need to be on my mind. I am playing Steady Focus. Uh, which is not ideal for this, but whatever. Do we have a vent there, boy? I assume so, if we're kind of just running from this thing. Or maybe not. No, I have no idea what's happening, but it's fine. It's fine. We're not going to complain. Uh, oh, this is a pretty spicy pull, actually. Okay. Let's uh, interrupt this one, bring it in. And then you pull all this, of course. Goes without saying. Heal ourselves here. Nope. The healing stone was not enough. I deserved that. I'm a wash. I'm a mess. This is what's become of me. Do you know how many Mythic Plus I've done this week? Considering we weren't really planning on doing, you know, any. Uh, a lot. I mean, a lot. Like, I had to even cancel some stream days to get recording done because we've got Preachmas coming up on Monday. And uh, he's kiting. I'm going to binding shot. And I was not prepared at all. I was not prepared for whatever this was. So I'm coming with the wrong spec, which I'm not going to tell the guys because they'll troll me. I'm going to total this. I'm going to try and finish this off. This is definitely my fault, by the way. That I'm aware of. 
<sighs> you know, sometimes, man, <laughs> you expect one thing, you get another. I think we're resetting. I will say that was all my fault. Uh, that was all my fault. At least it's captured for posterity. <laughs> all good. All good. Hopefully the team doesn't rage me. Um, so, this week we had all these plans. Uh, and I'm sure you've seen the video where I kind of mocked it a little bit. But it has been pretty, like, memes aside and interesting aside from, like, my point of view, you know, content creation-wise. Like, ex if we exclude that for a second, it's honestly been kind of interesting. Uh, to try and work out what is best for the team. And I bring up Alex because Alex takes things very personally because we do a lot of testing. Uh, we do as much as a guild as we possibly can. And it's when it doesn't go right and the preparation feels wrong, Alex takes it very personally. And uh, <laughs> he shouldn't, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because we follow his lead uh, with good reason. We trust him as a leader. So I'll give you an example. Um, is we were g getting to... Um... Can I survive this? Okay. Oof. Oof. Uh, we got to the Sun King Salvation. Now, Sun King Salvation is a fight that changed a lot. Uh, a hell of a lot over the course of the beta and the alpha. It was a fight that Blizzard just seemingly could not get right. For whatever reason, they couldn't get it right. And we ended up in this... See, I, that wasn't me. That was not me, and Snackbox died. I'm going to CC that one. And the tank's dead. What is happening? I'm ultra confused. We seem to be way over pulling for some reason. Okay. Okay, I could, I could get a thought out. I promise you I could get a thought out. It's never nice doing these not being on comms. Uh, but <laughs> the situation was this. We got to Sun King. And we had practiced, like, I don't know, guys. Like, maybe five, a different, five or six different strategies to deal with this fight that we had in mind. And Blizzard kept changing it every time. So which made it really, really hard to really nailed down what we wanted to do. But we had a good idea, you know, and I'm sure you guys who watched videos and stuff would also have had a pretty good idea about what was supposed to happen there. But it's hard to tell. Anyway, we got there. And sure enough, the fight is, like, way different now. But we knew it was killable because it had been killed by the US the night before. When we woke up, because the US gets their reset... Oh, my God, the tank died again. Well, this is grim. Uh, we go... Fucking hell, man. <sighs> I need to repair. I wish I could afford a tome. A tome's like 700 gold a piece. Not that my respect would save me too much. But, um... This is actually the roughest Mythic Plus I've been in. <laughs> like, you know me. <laughs> Our kills been pretty bang on with Mythic Plus. I'd like to say it's all my fault, but I don't think it is. Let's just, uh... Let's blow this guy up and call it a GG. Let's move inside this. Get a little bit of this efflorescence going on. Um, so anyway... <clears throat> when we got to Sun King, our strategy was not working, no matter what we did. And it was just like, we need to, we had like, what happened was, it's the interesting moment that can happen when you're struggling to get something done, and you know it's not because of gear, particularly, which it wasn't. He's dead again. Why is this? I'm very confused. Uh, anti-aim shot mechanics. So we had four or five different strategies come out from people in the team. They were like, I think we should do this. I think we should do X. I think we should do Y. Which is helpful. Don't get me wrong. Some raid leaders hate that. They want to be in like complete control. Alex isn't like that, though. Alex is like, mm -hmm, okay. He just wants to hear opinions. Is there something he's not seeing? And so we were in that scenario where we're trying to like... Trying to think our way around the problem, right? I mean, it's nothing more complicated than that. We're just trying to think our way outside the problem. And, um... Ultimately, Alex just says... I've not prepared for this. Properly. You know, as much as he wants to have prepared for a fight like this. It's like, I'm just not sure the best way for us to go. And we're going to leave it and I'm going to think about it overnight. And he, I know he takes that very personally, which he shouldn't do. 
because you know <laughs> it's it's not it's not his fault like there was so, there's so many different things we could have done there we had people who were like well if we push dps this far if we bring an extra healer or two maybe we could cheese it that way and then of course some people started checking videos of what did like echo and limit do and we were like well we don't want to do that in fact but we had plans to do alt raids right that's why we prepared so many characters my dps is way shitter without like an actual aoe spec I, I am trolling hard in here. I'm going to do a TDP after this where I play a proper AoE spec and we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. That crazy burst that I know you guys want to see. So we went and did our alt raid. And amazingly, <clears throat> and this is the interesting thing, because a lot of people talk about the difficulty of the raid and so on. This is the interesting thing. Is we smashed the alt raid. Uh, the actual alt raid. And I mean smashed it. Uh, we've re-cleared all the bosses up to Sun King in about 30 minutes. And uh, we were like, whoa. Like, they, that, that kind of proves to you this is a mechanical situation. It's not gear or anything like that. This is a mechanical situation. And once you get good practice with it, you're fine, right? You're actually fine. So, we then had a bit of a rethink. But we had to call it a night there because, you know, it had been our raid night. And we only raid three days a week. And our, our guild's most strict and vital rule, we do not raid more days. We do not raid more days. That's that's like the golden rule. We do not do that. Um, I, I really want to just like touch these. Mm. So raiding, just doing like, oh, this raid week is really hard. Let's throw in a couple of extra days or something like that is not an option. Uh, so... We, we, were, we had a meeting, and it was very strange, because we all came out of that as Mythic Raiders, and I've got to say, guys, did I catch the bug? And I'm talking about the progress bug, and if you've never had it in WoW, uh, I wish I could express to you properly, properly what it's like. But I was like, okay, next day we go serious, like super serious, uh, because so far it's been all fun and games, right? I've been doing achievement runs and things like that. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. We need gear. We need it now. And so I um, I got that bug. The super serious bug. I think these are a trinket or something. They're not the Pelagos orbs. They're something else. And I can't remember which trinket it is. It's some sort of item. I'm pretty sure. Um, so I had the bug. So next day we got super serious. And while we were all on TeamSpeak. And honestly as a progression guild... I understand if you're in a guild that's really struggling with, like, the current level of difficulty. I totally get that, because it's, uh, it's really hard. Uh, some of the bosses, like, they've been nerfed a little bit now. We're doing, like, heroic uh, mythic levels. For fuck's sake. We're doing, like, mythic levels of stuff, which is, you know, it's not ideal <laughs> by any means. All right, we blast. I'm about to just completely get this damage meter pregnant right now. If I could stop getting... Stupid goddamn volcanic under my feet. This new volcanic is so troll. There are just times that I need to get in there. So we had this, uh, what is this? Verse. Ah, it's the verse buff. Yeah, yeah. So we were all doing Mythic Plus, and in our team speak, yes, we use team speak. In our team speak, there was like four or five different groups of people all running M Plus, like the very next day. It was so weird because the day before Wednesday, which is our reset, so weird that team speak was pretty cool, calm, and collected. There was a few people on just chilling, doing stuff, you know, running their tour gas, leveling alts, things like that. The very next day after the first raid, it was like, nope, everybody was online. Like, people like took days off work. They were like, we go serious. Right now. Because we need to get Denathrius killed. We, you know, we're raiding Mythic next week come hell or high water. Especially with the Christmas break coming. And so... It, it became a case of... Uh, <laughs> everybody go... Uh, if you can do it, you go, we go boss wars. No one asked us to do that. But that's the progression mindset. That's like, okay, serious time. Engaged. Let's go. So while I was chilling... And uh, we were having a good time. A uh, better time than the start of this dungeon. We seem to have sort of like... Relaxed a bit now, I think. Not sure. I'm not sure what happened in the open here. I'm not going to pretend. Uh, but Alex came in. He said, right, I want to speak to you all. Uh, not individually, just like he wanted to gather thoughts off everybody in the guild if possible. And if you weren't online, he would like contacted them on uh, Discord and stuff like that. And he's like, what do you think we should do? And I was like, that's a really interesting question. And he wanted all the different points of view, like 
what do you think the best plan is? Because we have a remainder of like six hours to raid this week. We have so much to kill. What do you think we should do? And I was like, Ugh. I mean, I had my opinion. Mine was to craft the Legos, at least on, because what we were doing was bringing the um, socials to the, to the raids. And our, our reasoning behind that was, uh, oh, someone's dying. I'm health potting here. This is more frustrating than I, I would like it to be. I'm popping coolies here. I don't care. I'd rather survive. Focus time, boys. Focus time. I'm going to use this haste buff on this last aim shot. Okay. So that was the question. It's like, what do you think we should do? So there's all kinds of suggestions. Maybe we should run a normal mode. Maybe we should try and get a lockout for just Stone Generals and Denathrius on normal mode. So we could just do those. Maybe we should merge the groups and leave alts behind for this week. So we just have the main team. Um, obviously, there are some people who are more comfortable playing like any class uh, than others. You know, some people are much more comfortable on one type of character, which is fine as well. So if we go full mains, you know, that should be our strongest possible comp, but make sure we get everything done. Uh, so they were all good suggestions. My suggestion was that we should craft the Legos on the people who we really, really don't think are going to be, like, affected by Blizzard. Because that's the whole reason we haven't crafted Legos, right? Uh, is to do that. So if we're like, they would have to actually kill the legend. If you could craft it now, and it's not like on Denathrius or something like that. If you could craft your legendary like right now, and you the odds on Blizzard actually doing something horrible to it are ludicrously small, then go ahead and get it done, right? Which I thought was a good idea. I thought that was the way we should go. Like, as a hunter, I didn't want to craft mine, because there's interactions with mine that I just don't think are accurate. <laughs> To be, to put it perfectly honest with you, I just don't think they're accurate at all. So I was very concerned that that would happen. And so I, um, I suggested that, and Alex then took it all into account before our Thursday raid. So this was Thursday morning, and Alex was like, I don't know what to do. Uh, so I mean, he had an idea of what he wanted to do, but, you know, he was wanting to see what everyone else kind of felt about the situation. Uh, which is a good idea. So... We did that, and um, Al decided. Is it Curse of Stone now? All right, here's Stone Call. Using using uh, cooldowns here is kind of scummy, but I think it's worth. I'm dead. I'm a volcanic. I'm stunned in volcanic. Like, thanks, boss. Actually stunned him volcanic. GG's. What a dream. <laughs> right? So he took all the buys. So Thursday, we decided that we would wait. Thursday night, we decided, right, what we'll do. What we'll do is we'll put everybody onto their mains. Right? We'll put everybody onto their mains. I'm going to go this way. And we'll have just the main team. That's going to be the plan. Can this Houndmaster, like, not be miles away? That would be sweet. I'm gonna do a knock away there on that, uh, loyal beast. We don't want that. Oh, God. Did one of them go off? Alright, it rages off. Cool. Binding shot doing its work. Good to see. Concussion blow on that one. Let's drop a tar trap just in case. Trying to help out here. <laughs> as best I can. Might still be able to time this, actually. I really hate playing steady shot in dungeons. Holy crap. Can we kill this guy on this one? Get out of here. <laughs> Kegis is just kiting for days. It's just, it's just doing laps. Just doing absolute laps. What a lad. What a lad. I hate this trash. I hate this trash so much. 
because there's just nowhere to stand. I'm actually popping cooldowns. I gotta go out my wild spirits, but I, I don't really don't care. The bosses are so much easier than the trash here. I would rather blow cooldowns on this little trash, but oh my god, this, the pride falls coming. I should remember that. That's the thing. Whoever's got the thing. Okay, yeah, I couldn't see that. I was trying to look through. Let's move through here. All right, we're good. Uh, let's not hit the tank. That would be a wise idea. No, oh, that's that's like right at me. <laughs> that was like right at me. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, Thursday's raid then. One shot the Sun King. After wiping like seven times, dudes. After wiping like seven times, one shot the Sun King. Which was just frustrating, honestly. Because we'd done about seven tries the night before when we decided to call it. But we came in with a new strategy and one shot it. Which frankly was hilarious. Uh, so kind of memed each other there. Was like, ha ha ha, you know, that's what happened. But we one shot it and moved on to dance, dance boss. Uh, which we, we killed very quickly. I, like, it wasn't as hard as... We got kind of pre-warned, or Alex pre-warned. It's like, hey, Dance Boss is no joke. Uh, just to let you know, Dance Boss is absolutely no joke. And we were like, oh, okay. So that's be a bit of a joke. Like, we killed it very, very quickly. <laughs> killed it very, very quickly. And then we're like, okay, now it's time for Sludge Fist. And we were very aware that Sludge Fist is absolutely not a joke. But, you know, it's something we're gonna, we're doing it, so let's go. Of course, of course. As soon as I pop wild spirits and, and of course, yeah. I deserve that, I suppose. Pop cooldowns, get screwed. That is the nature of this week. It's all good, man. We're not going to complain. And then Sludge Fist. You know, we had a 2% wipe on Sludge Fist that night. A 2% wipe. Do you know where that would have put us, like, globally? World 6th. I'm not even memeing. We did really, really, really fucking well on what is a really, really, really hard boss. <laughs> we did, like, super well. Uh, surprisingly well. I uh, was very impressed with the team, but we didn't kill it. And also, there was, like, a sense of disappointment, because obviously, if you've had a 2% wipe, you're very, very close to calling it a GG. Oh, they're doing trash. What? Okay. One communication. Hello? Really did not expect to be doing trash here, but fine. I mean, I can do trash. Not a problem. I have never cleared... This is the first time I've done this trash in retail. <laughs> no meme. Okay. Now we get prideful. Do we want this to happen now? Oh, was that, oh, that was him collecting the debuff. Cool, 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 cool. Prideful's nuts for a little while, yeah. I can't actually see the prideful bar. Which is, oh, enemy forces is done. We've done all of them. We have overkilled the trash hardcore. No wonder I can't see it. Not even paying attention. Well, teach me. All right, now we can kill it, right? I, I am not popping cooldowns on this thing now. There's no way. Not at this point. Yeah, Sludge Fist is not funny. Like, so they're gonna, you guys might not know this if you didn't watch any of our Mythic coverage, but the mechanics that he's doing now are kind of like the Mythic mechanics, which was really odd to see. <laughs> really, really odd to see. <laughs> they, they basically just moved it into almost a Mythic mode. Uh, so, I mean, we got very close. We knew what we were doing. We would definitely have killed it, like, with another hour. But the raid is over, and as I said, we do not do extra hours. Like, uh, our guild is pretty strict on that rule, which is good. So, yeah. the next move <laughs> was the end of the raid night, and what to do. Because we've only killed seven bosses in one of the two minimum raids we wanted to do. 
which means the other raid has still got four bosses to do, and we haven't done normal mode yet, and we are running out of time. So it's a stress. It's a pretty stressful time to get this kind of all sorted. Um, and again, we all sat down and kind of like in, in meeting time again, essentially. Meeting time again. Saw that coming at me. And it was, it was cool, man. It's nice to sit down as a team and see the whole team come together. I know it's, like, nerdy or whatever, but god damn it, man, do we look forward to this stuff. At least I do, anyway. Like, progress rating... We haven't progress rated for a year, right? That's the reality of the situation. We haven't progress rated for a year at this point. So to have the whole team come together really well, that's why I think... Um, so I think Alex should be very proud, despite the fact he, he takes it very personally if he feels he hasn't done enough. We all came together and were like, okay, we're progress rating. It's a week earlier than expected. We got this, you know? <laughs> we got this. Let's get this done. And that's why we're all here in these Mythic Plus 10s right now. And I've been asking a lot of people, it's like, well, what's your guild's response been to this increase in difficulty, right? What has your guild's response been to this scenario? I got the right buff, right? Yes, I got mastery. This trinket's fucking troll, by the way. This is the other side trinket. Super troll. It's not at me. A lot of people are confused by teleconnected sauce. It's just whichever way it's facing. You can watch it and kind of predict where it's going. Alright, well, we still did it in time. <laughs> Still did it in time. I would love to know, genuinely, how your guys have adapted to it. Because now we're preparing for Sunday. Uh, <sighs> fuck my life, dude. Of fucking course. <sighs> I can't even trade them. Because of the, high, the item level. <clears throat> I can't even trade them. God damn it, man. God damn it. But there's the TDP. I want to do another one with actual proper spec. Maybe I'll introduce the guys and uh, we'll ask them how they're feeling. Why not? Um, talk soon, guys. Thank you very much. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.